Oh, do we have one from the Liberty Loft? Remove the unvaccinated from society, says radical leftist Noam Chomsky. I'm Grid7. This is by a guy named Kyle Schmidbauer. And let's get into it. I've always found Noam Chomsky to be paradoxical in nature. He somehow manages to be the most prolific political philosopher in our time, while simultaneously being decidedly terrible at the craft. An interview clip from September featuring the Nanagorian Socialist, which on Monday found itself uh, trending, trending on Twitter, serves as an excellent case in point. Tongue is tied today. In the clip, Chomsky asked for his opinion on vaccine mandates, suggested that while refusing vaccine is ultimately an extension of one's free will, such a decision should also entail insistence that the unvaccinated isolate themselves from society. If people decide I am willing to be a danger to the community by refusing a vaccine, then they should say, well, I also have the decency to isolate myself, he says in the clip. He goes on to say, if it really reaches the point where they are severely endangering people, then of course you have to do something about them. Right there, to me, that's very fascist in in nature. Everything that Chomsky says in the above clip is either verifiably false, morally reprehensible, or both. Uh, First, Chomsky's entire case is predicted on the notion that the unvaccinated pose an existential threat to the vaccinated, which is a blatant lie. It's a lie for the simple reason that the vaccines, by and large, work. Breakthrough infections are exceedingly rare, and the deaths from breakthrough infections are even rarer. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, out of some 225.5 million Americans who have received at least one COVID vaccine dose, only 10,875 have died through breakthrough breakthrough infections. That translates to around 0.005% of the vaccinated population. Simply put, the vaccinated have a minimum minimal chance of dying from COVID and scapegoating the unvaccinated for the breakthrough infections that do happen is little more than a crock of tribalistic nonsense. I mean, it is true. This unfortunate COVID isn't something that we are going to get rid of. It's going to be around. It's going to be like the cold and the flu. We're just going to have to live with it. And doing this type of stuff, I bet this guy right here is one of those guys uh, this guy is one of those guys that uh, would cringe, you no, know, cry from the rooftops about how Americans treated Asians with the concentration camps during World War II, but yet we'll turn right, right around and do this. Uh, the article continues, tribalism leads us to the crux of Chomsky's argument, which is that societies should make a conscious decision to completely obstruct ostracize those who refuse vaccination. It goes it goes without saying that this is a morally reprehensible by nature. You don't get to deny people participation in society because they refuse to entertain your perver- perverted draconian public health theater. Yet that's exactly what the left are doing. They're mandating vaccines and pushing vaccine passports, all while continuing to demand that you still wear a mask in public and regularly submit to testing. And if you take any issue with it, surmise the left, it's because you are evil and unfeeling, unfeeling, therefore you are expendable and not to be treated as such. And once you discount the perceived threat to the vaccinated as being purely political in nature, it lays bare to the fact that, the is, that this is the issue at hand. It's the driving philosophy behind a huge chunk, chunk of the COVID agenda that the left are pushing. And it's coming straight from the mouths of one of their idols. No, you're, you're not going to ever hear me say it. Don't get the vaccination. Don't get vaccinated. All that type of stuff. But I will say very loudly and proudly, I'm against any mandates. That's Nazism. That's fascism. And I am against that. And that's exactly what this guy is pushing. Fascism and Nazism. Let me know what you think. What do you think about this push? Is it it fascism? Let me know. And I'll see you next video.